Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be at IBEX, the International Boat Builders Exposition, right here in Louisville, Kentucky. They've got some phenomenal products down here, stuff that you absolutely must learn about. So I'm standing here with Andy Giles. He's with a company called Casco Marine. They've got a product that is very well known, and you might recognize it once Andy tells you a little bit more about it. So hold on one second. Okay, Andy, how are you today, sir? I'm uh, doing great, thank you. Good, good, good. Enjoying the show so far? Yes, sir. It's been a good show. Good, good. Hey, tell us a little bit more about some of the products you guys have over there at Casco. Well, we, uh, we've been in business 46 years, and uh, we make the uh, Casco de-icer. Ah. So it's just a one half horsepower, three quarter horsepower, and one horsepower. And our units uh, have, were used to help save some whales back in 1988. And there's a movie that came out called The Big Miracle, uh, February of this year, with Drew Barrymore and uh, Ted Danson. And that was your product? It was our product in that movie. Oh, how cool is that? It was, it was wonderful. It really so was. As far as the marine application is concerned, so anybody up north who's got an ice problem and they want to keep their boat in the water all winter long, they can use your product as well. That is correct. Uh, you can hang it off your dock. You can have a stationary dock or floating dock or hang it off your boat. It works on the principle of bringing the warm water up from the bottom. And as that warm water comes up, it melts the ice and the, the agitation of that warm water spreads out. And as it gets colder, denser, it sinks to the bottom again. So you continuously turn over the thermal layer and keep your boat to dock with some ice damage. So you can also use this product to save your dock, not just to keep your boat in the water, but That's to correct. keep your dock free from ice so it won't get degraded. That's right, because you have the ice expands in the wintertime. And when that expands, it'll push against your pollings if you're in a large area. Or if you live in an area where you have pollings that go down to soft mud, as the ice freezes to the pollings, each time as the tide goes up and down, it'll pull the out of the mud. Yeah. Eventually they get them up too high and the ice pushes the dock over. That's yeah. never good. Yeah. So tell me about what one of these things would do down here. Like how big of an area on the lake would you be able to uncover from ice with one of those? Well, one of our, one of our uh, three quarter horsepower units in the, in the Chesapeake Bay or Long Island you can do a hundred foot dock with a three quarter horsepower, uh, fifty foot dock with our half horsepower. And our one horsepower we can do about 125 feet with our that should be more than enough room for any dock. More enough room for any dock. And if you have a longer dock, then you just get another unit. You can use two units. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, great. Hey, Andy, if we can't make it down here to uh, Ibex, then where should we go to find out more information for you guys? Uh, you want to go to our website, uh, www.deicer.com. Go to our website. And it's a complete website. Construction manuals on there, application manual. There's a video on there about how to save the whales, how to save, how to save the whales, and it's a product information sheet, it's anything you need. Now, what product are you up for the Innovation Award for? Uh, we just developed a brand new product. It's a 12-volt portable de-icer for the duck hunting market. You can hang it off your boat, or you can put it in the shallow water, push it down, and it runs off a 100-amp battery. It's got a 35-foot power cord. It's got a switch turn on and off and it's fused. And it'll run for about five hours on a 100-amp battery. And what it does for a duck hunter, it keeps the hole open and ducks like to come into open water. Ah. The other thing it does, when the water's moving, your decoys look realistic. Yeah. So when you see the, when the ducks see the decoys like the real moving, then they'll come into that hole. Ah, that is absolutely fantastic. All right, well, Andy, thanks so much for your time today. I really appreciate it, and enjoy the rest of your time here at the show. All right. Thank you.